Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel and happy Thursday. So good to see you guys today. Like, I can't see you guys, but so good to be here with you guys today. Yes. Anyway, guess what day it is? Dollar Tree Haul Day. Yes. So I got a Dollar Tree Haul here. I got a couple things in the floor. I got this right here and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully everybody's having a wonderful day. It's actually Wednesday when I'm filming this, but I actually have a fever blister and I thought I would film it a day early just in case my fever blister looks horrible tomorrow. Then that way I won't have to video unless I want to do a recipe or something like that. So anyway, um, let me go ahead and dive into this haul. I hope everybody is doing fantabulous. So let's see here. Let's see what we got. Um, first off, I found some cat toys. Okay, these cat toys are adorbs. Now, they're not name brand, I don't think. No, they're just a green briar. But look how flippin' cute they are. They're just crinkle. Let's see. Crinkle cat toys. So, I got this one, which looks like, I guess, a big piece of candy. I love the rainbow of it. And then I have this one right here, which is just, I don't know. We'll call it candy, too. But I love the colors. I love the bright colors. My cat will love these. Lichen will love these. Super cute. So, there are those. And then, if you remember the other day, I hauled some of these for Fifi, and I'm always looking for things to go in her and Cricky's bags for Christmas, like their Christmas bags that I always do. So, I feel like this right here would be a good thing. So, I got two more of these, and this is different from the ones that they normally have. Normally, the ones that they have are just plain. I guess. I don't know if they're called plain or if they're just called like sweet or I don't really know because I've really hardly ever bought them in my life. But these are cinnamon ones and she loves these. So these are the crunchy rice rolls. I guess they're just pretty much like rice cakes except in a different uh, shape. And it says it's from, hold on, Harvest and Lee. Harvest and Lee right there and you get seven in here I believe is what it said seven rolls yes so that's a perfect thing to put in their Christmas bags yes and then <coughs> I had gotten some cheese or some tortilla chips at the store when I did my click list order and so I went ahead and got this right here it's the jalapeno cheddar my family loves that I know it's just a dollar and like this the cheese that you get in the stores are normally kind of pricey like three something you know for a jar and I know this is probably half the size of a jar but still for a dollar like if you got two of these it'd make a jar probably and it would and it's really good so they love them so I like to get them and then this is just the Dollar Tree or the what is it ready in case Pepto Bismol Pepto Bismol I mean my son loves this um, anytime he's having an upset stomach or, or whatevs he's always asking for this so I like to keep it on hand and you can't beat it for a buck now the Pepto the name brand is pricey so if you can get something like that for cheap yes it's absolutely awesome um, let me just say something really quick when I was at the Dollar Tree which will be you're watching this today. It'll be Wednesday. When I was at the Dollar Tree in Fayetteville, I met one of my subscribers. Um, her name was a Wendy. We took a picture together, and you absolutely made my day, Wendy. It was super nice to meet you, and I just wanted to give you a shout out and say thank you for coming up to me and introducing yourself and saying that you like my channel. I really appreciate that. When people do that, I love it. Um, it just totally makes my day. So I took a picture with Wendy and I'm going to post it at the end of this video. So make sure to stay to the end to see me and Wendy. So just wanted to throw that out there and say thank you to Wendy for liking my channel and for coming up and introducing yourself. I really enjoy that. Okay, back to the haul. Um, I got this right here for Jack. I said I was going to get her one next time I saw one. And it's just the Real Images Sketch Pad. Um, this is 
This is from Dixon Ticonderoga. So this bad boy, I wish I would have got a couple. If I would have realized that it was a name brand, I totally would have. Um, you do get 40 sheets in here. And Jack has been, um, you know, doing a lot of drawing from the YouTube channel that she watches. And a lot of people are, are asking me, like, if it's a certain one or another one. And I don't know. I still need to find out which one it is so I can just let you guys know. But I have no clue. I need to look. So, yes. So, I got that for her. And that is an awesome deal. I would like to know, like, what these retail for, honestly, because the Ticonderoga is an expensive brand in pencils for sure. So, let me just get this up here. Okay. Now, there's all in that bag. Let me show you guys a couple of more wrapping papers that I got. Um, I'm going to have so many different colored and, and stuff of wrapping papers under the tree, but that'll be cool because, you know, I like all kinds of different stuff. So this is the Trolls wrapping paper for Christmas, and it's really pretty. Um, I think all of the Trolls look like they're on an ornament. So I think that's how they fix it up. Like there's Poppy and there's different ones. Branch is probably on here and let's see, I was looking for the Oh, yeah. The Rock and Roll. I can't remember her name for some reason. Usually, I know it. I thought if I looked at it, it would come to me, but it's not. Um, I can't believe it. Anyway, it's just really cute wrapping paper. And for kids that like the trolls, it's awesome. Okay, and then this one right here. I showed you one the other day, which was a um, buffalo check, black and red buffalo check one. Well, this one looks like flannel. I think that would be so cool for the men's gifts. I don't know. I really like that. That flannel. It looks really like flannel, don't it? I love it. So, I grabbed that one. Just slinging them. Just slinging them. Um, and then we have this one right here, which is Elf. Um, this one is one I said I wasn't going to get because Elf I don't know. I, I like to, I usually catch bits and pieces of it. It's not my favorite Christmas mo movie, um, but I wasn't going to get it. And my daughter said, Cricky would love stuff wrapped in this paper. So I'm like, oh, okay, get it then. So evidently it's one of Cricky's favorite Christmas movies. So it just shows him. Um, it says, bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Thanks, Mr. Norwal. I don't even know. Is that out of the movie? Like, I, I don't even know. No clue. But anyway, I grabbed that one for Cookie's gifts. And last but not least, in the wrapping paper, is this right here. And this is, I did haul a Charlie Brown one the other day, and it was, um, it looked like sweater material. This one just looks like regular material. And we have like Snoopy's house all decorated up. We have um, Charlie B Brown decorating that little piddly tree that he got, which turned out pretty darn cool in the end, right? Um, and then we have Snoopy and probably Woodstock somewhere. I mean, like Woodstock always makes an appearance, but honestly, I'm not seeing him. So anyway, there's that. <sighs> okay. All right, let's 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 dive in here. It feels like I may have, oh, I know what this is. Um, I'm just going to show you one, and I'm going to tell you how many I've got and what I'm going to use them for. So, this is the, um, boy, that looks dirty. Why does that look dirty? Is it dirty on the inside? Wait a minute, let me just, it is. It's dirty on the inside. How weird is that? Ooh, I'm, I, I gotta wash them really good first, apparently. But anyway, this is the glass jars with the metal lids. Um, I got, I think I got five of the, this is the small ones, believe it or not. I got five of the small ones and one of the big ones. And if you guys remember, I've really been into teas here lately. So what I'm gonna do is use each one of these. I'm gonna put a label on it and put what kind of tea it is. Um, or what kind of herbs, it's actually going to be herbs in here, um, like rose hips or um, um, mullen or, you know, just different herbs that they have, licorice root. And then that way I can concoct my own tea based on what I'm wanting out of it, you know, whether I'm um, 
wanting some natural immunity or some energy or to make me ready for bed, you know, I can get, you know, make my own concoction of tea. So basically I'm going to fix me up like a little space to keep all of my tea, all of my herbs, and I'm going to keep them in these. So I was lucky enough to find, they had just stocked up like all kinds of these jars. And I'm like, oh, that's exactly what I've been looking for because that's the only other place. Like I see one every now and then, like I don't see them all the time. So I do have six, five little ones and one big one. And then I have hauled at least one small one and one big one, maybe two big ones. So yes, um, I'm gonna get a quick drink. Um, I got me, I got this. <laughs> I'm actually sitting in my um, driveway at home. Um, I was going to go find some shade. Then I realized that this side of the house has some shade right now. So I didn't go. Me and Jack just got back. I picked her up. If you watched yesterday, um, you will have saw that I did a live whenever I was sitting um, in the parent pickup line. So, yes. So I was picking up Jack. We were going to Oak Hill and Fayetteville to do some Dollar Tree hauling. So that's what we did. Um, so this is me getting back. Um, let me show you what I got in here. I picked up one more of these Nirvana waters. I love them. I like the size. Um, I, I drink a ton of water. I love water. Um, sometimes I like flavored water. Sometimes I like regular water. Sometimes I like this kind of water. So I don't know. How, how big is this sucker? I see it. Hold on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's big. It's a good size thing of water, but anyway, I got one of those, and then I also got me, I saw some new um, artwork on the Life Waters, and the Life Waters features, features like artwork from artists, so I thought these were cool, and I like to buy these and kind of support the artist as well, so I like, I like finding like the new artworks, so that one I had not seen, and then this one, look at this colorful baby, I absolutely love it. So anyway, two life waters. And then for my son, I saw this and I feel like this is new. This is a crush and it is fruit punch. I've never saw a, cru a fruit punch, fruit, pru whoa, that's difficult. Fruit punch crush. Say that fast, three times. Fruit punch crush, fruit punch crush, fruit punch, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, try it guys, try it. Fruit Punch Crush, baby. So I grabbed him that. And then I also grabbed him one more of these. I think now this is the ginger beer. He said that he loves this. Um, he's been sick too. He said that this literally saved his life. I mean, it saved his life. So who am I not to get another one, right? I had to grab at least one more. So there's that. The bag of drinks, which they're nice and chilled. I didn't get these today. I got these day before yesterday. Okay. I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to take that in when I go. Okay. So, I grabbed one of these. I had not saw these. I think they're really cute. It just says Merry Christmas. I'm planning on taking this over to Cricky's house. And let me tell you what I'm going to do. I just think this is a cute idea. I am going to use this to store or to put the um, forks knives, spoons, and napkins in. So, you know, just, um, I'll, I'll have to figure out a way to make like mini compartments in here, you know, so people can just reach in and get a fork or whatever they need. But I absolutely thought these was so cute. And, and that idea, you know, just came to me as soon as I saw them. I'm like, oh, that would be really cute. You could also use it for a pretzel bowl or notebooks or even, it reminds me of one of those um, like notebook holders, but it's a Christmas, it's a Christmas. So I thought that would be absolutely perfect for napkins, forks and stuff like that. Um, if you have any ideas on how I could separate, like com put little compartments, let me know. I'll be, I'll be looking for ideas for that because I'm just, it's eluding me right now. If you get my drift, it's just eluding me on how I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, I grabbed these. I actually found these in my floorboard, and I was thinking I have not showed these to you guys. So, it's just a, a set of bobby pins, and they just look like little flowers and leaves. So, I think they're just really cute. So, I got those because I'm addicted to bobby pins, apparently. 
And then as far as Christmas decorating, I did grab, and these are very fragile, can I just say? These right here. So it's candle holders. And is that what they're calling them? Mini wreath. Okay, I was wrong on that. So mini wreaths, but you could totally put these around one of those, um, um, not a tower, not a cylinder. What do they call them? Them candles? I don't I have no clue. But anyway, you could set a candle and put that around it and that would be so pretty. A white candle or a red candle, a red candle in this one, a white in this one. That would be just pretty as a centerpiece for an end table or just a table. You know, they're just really pretty. I love the way this one right here has the pine cones. Pine cones is such a traditional Christmas decoration. Like it's pine cones has been around forever when it comes to Christmas decorations. And then this one, I love the, the like holly berries and I don't know, these are just really cute. So that'll be really cute for decorating. Let's see, let me put those there. Okay, and then, oh, I found one more of the, well, they had a bunch of these, honestly, and I thought I'd get one of these just to send over to Josh's house, you know, Hallie and, uh, or Kendall and, and Raylan, they're going to like this, and they can refill it over there, and this, they can just keep for, you know, the decoration, you know, through Christmas, but what I really love about this one, this is the cranberry scented one. Can I just say how amazing it is? It's fantabulous. If you find these, grab you one up. Let me just smell it. It's been a while. Ah! Whoa! I love it so much. Can I just say I love it so much? It's absolutely wonderful. So, let me get the lid back on here. They are fabulous. So, I don't know as far as antibacterial or anything like that goes, but let me just say it smells amazing. So, I grabbed them one. I should have grabbed Felicia and Cookie one, but I could give them one of mine, honestly, because uh, I did find the Gingerbread Man the snowman, the Christmas tree, and Santa. They'd probably like to have one, right? Okay, let's see what's in this bag. Um, you saw me haul these on, well, not these exactly, but you saw me haul some of these on my last um, Dollar Tree haul. And I took them in and I showed my husband, I'm like, hey, look, and he snatched those things out of my hand so fast politely of course but like he was really glad to see them and i even said that i think i have some more well yes i do yes um i've been looking for the nacho ones which um these are just the original but like i said if you go in little general or any kind of convenience store near you they're going to be way more than a dollar i guarantee probably at least a dollar 79 at least maybe more so anyway if you can find them like that's a really good deal um also i just got a red bic lighter just because my son's a smoker and we are constantly needing lighters so yes and then i did grab my hubby two bags of the pistachios you guys know this is a repurchase one of his favorite things is the pistachios from there and grabbed them and then check these out okay so these were hanging back near the Christmas card or the card section, which is weird. But these are, hold on, they're sunglasses, I'm just gonna tell you. And I really think they're gonna be pretty awesome. Let me take this little sticky tab off that always comes off. I just don't wanna show you until I put them on. I want it to be a surprise, okay? A surprise. Hold on, I almost got it. Okay, I guess it's going to be good enough. Okay, ready? Ready? Yes! Right? Aviators! I have not seen any decent looking aviators. Oh, they have the little sticker here. But I have not seen any decent looking aviators like anywhere. So it looked like, and it was really weird that they had them back there with the like the birthday cards and stuff. I'm like, what is this? And why is it here? But I'm like, okay. So I grabbed a pair for a dollar. Come on. You cannot beat that. You can't beat it. It's great for a buck, right? I love it. Uh, my favorite is my um, blue aviators that I got from 
Amazon. I love these. These are my faves, but they're all obviously, you know, not going to last forever. But anyway, come on. I love these. These are great. You cannot beat that. I won't lay them up here. <coughs> okay. How about, how did I get that sticker? <coughs> Hold on. <coughs> Air off. Okay. Next. Just a Brilla. <coughs> Okay, that air always makes me cough. Um, this is just the basic, you know, dishwasher, sponge, not sponge, brush. So this is the Brillo Basics ones. Whenever I see the Brillo ones, I like these best. I mean, the, the ones from Kitchen Concepts or whatever that is, the Greenbrier ones, they work fine. They work fine. But I like this right here. Like a lot of times when they're stuck on food and you're trying to brush it off, I don't know if you guys do like me, but that's what I keep keep my brush around for. If I need to brush off stuck on food, I'll use it. And I'll use them until they look pretty gross, you know, and then I'll just trash them. Um, I know people said that you can throw them in the dishwasher. Um, I haven't done that, but like you know, they're, they're a dollar. They're, they're not, they're not bad, but this right here is the bomb.com as far as scraping stuff off. So this is the best brand. This is the kind that I definitely prefer. So I like when I see those. Just grab that for my son, just the extra bubble gum. And then I got this cause I'm like, what is this? Um, so it says glow in the phone. Here's what it looks like. I have no clue, but we're going to find out. I have no clue. So it says, um, Mermaid Ocean Tour. What? Glows for hours. It's a glow wand, but it's also a game. I don't know. I'm going to open it because I'm just going to take it in there and give it to Jack if it's anything. Like, I don't understand what it is. Okay, so you get... Uh oh, where'd that go? Okay, here it goes. So you get a gorgeous, I guarantee that's going to be so pretty lit up. You get that right there. And then you get this, which goes on the end. Okay, so you have a wand, right? Super cute. And then this card comes with it. So it says, scan me. It says, Augment augmented reality, air glow, scan me. Okay, and then on the back, there's a QR code, and there's also an app store and stuff. So basically, it looks like that you have to download an app and scan it, and somehow this game of this little girl maybe comes up on it. If you guys have used this and done it, let me know. I'm just curious about what it is. My phone has hardly any space. Like, I'm having to delete stuff all the time, so I really don't want to put it on my phone. Um, but it's super cute. Isn't she cute? So I don't know if you guys have done it. Let me know. I'm curious. I'm just curious. Okay. So now we know that that's something like that. Okay. And then I have a coloring book here. This is, I had never seen this one. Animals. I love the looks of that elephant on the front. And then another thing that I liked about this one is it is a color by number look at this little fox okay now it does have numbers that you can color and they are if you use the colors that it says to use it's going to be very colorful okay orange red dark orange brown um i see let's see there's light green it's just going to be very multicolored probably like that elephant looks. Just really, really pretty. So there's a lot of really cute pictures. I honestly was like, what? So of course there's the elephant. There's a sea turtle on the front. Um, I think these will be really fun. Oh, of course, the sloth. Like, am I crazy or what? Or are sloths like super popular right now? I feel like they are. Um, but these are super cute. These are just, I could, this one the sun and a rooster that's going to be the bomb totally okay let me get those out of here now let's see what's in here so this has been something that's been on a wish list check it out look how cute okay yes so this is the bubble wrap pop sheets 
bubble wrap pop sheets and we're going to open it. Um, it's a 12 count. They're called stress sheets. And I don't know about you guys, but I have always loved playing with bubble wrap. Like that's always been a thing. And I don't know how big this bubble wrap is or anything. This is going to go in Cricky's um, bag, her Christmas bag, because she's kind of harder to shop for than Fifi is. So, I mean, this is sort of like a gag gift, but really cute at the same time. So that's gonna go in there. And then right now we are gonna see like, so it says uh, pop sheets. So right here it's perforated. So what I'm gonna do, I guess, so it looks like they're gonna be sort of like a box of tissues maybe, I don't know. So you open that up, sort of like that, okay? You grab one. Okay. They're not very big. But hey, if you're stressed out. Yeah. And you know what the best part is? You can pop all these and then you, you won't have to waste any because like your stress will be gone, right? Like, it's totally going to take your stress away. And the, by the time you pop all these, it will totally, let me just say how this works. It will totally get your mind off of whatever is stressing you, right? Okay, anyway, so there's the size. Not very big, but you don't really need a great big one. If you are that stressed, use two or three or ten, you know? And then by that time, boom. Yep. Okay, so I know this stuff right here. I don't really, okay, let me just say. This is the vinyl paper, okay? The vinyl paper. Um, I don't really know what this is, but I know I love leopard print and I know I love buffalo check, but like, I don't really know what this is. I know a lot of people haul this and seem to be pretty darn crazy over it when it first came out. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of it. I've seen sparkly ones. I've seen plain ones. I've seen the faux leather ones. I've seen it all. But when I saw these two, I'm like, I don't know what that is, but get in my buggy because you're just cool, right? So what can a person do with these guys? Just let me know because I'm like this super curious. I don't, water resistant easy to weed effortless to apply easy to weed what what does that mean easy to weed they're both matte if that matters okay just let me know you guys know it all okay so i'm just gonna wait to hear from you guys okay and then i saw this be still my heart this is doilies and they have they have Roted, not rhododendrons, OMG. What are these little suckers called? Hold on. Hold on. No, not pomegranates. Wait, I'm in, the, I'm in the right line, right? It's poinsettias, thank goodness. Okay, they have gorgeous poinsettias on them. Look at them. They're just paper doilies. You get 16. They're going to be paper thin. I mean, obviously, they're paper doilies, but they are going to be, like, super thin. I'm sure of it, but how cute are these? Like, okay, here's, here's what I'm going to picture. Like, Christmas dinner, okay? It's time for dessert. It's time to break out pumpkin pie or whatever the dessert is. You can put these all around the table, small plates on top of these to where you can still see the gorgeous paper doily coming through. And then everybody can eat their dessert and just, it's just spectacular. It's just, it's just spectacular up in my mind. Like, I don't know, but I like it. I like the thoughts of it. And then I did grab two more of these just because I need some more just to go around the top of my cabinets. I always put, you know, these up along the top of my cabinets. I might see if Fifi needs one because she might need one for her stove. I don't know if they do their cabinets or not, but yeah. And then my friend, um, Diane. Diane. Okay, so I found these and I know that Diane, you said you're sending me some. So I got these for Fifi because they are fabulous. And I saw them and I'm like, 
So these are the gift tags, okay? So we have the three different gnomes. Look how cute. OMG. They're just so stinking cute. I can't stand it. And then look how gorgeous these tags are. So you get 52 pieces in here. And I absolutely love the looks of every single one. They are absolutely fantabulous. I love them. So anyway, I had to grab those, Diane. So yes, I'm going to give those to Fifi. And then I'm going to use the ones that you send me. Okay. And then let's see what else we have in here. Oh, more of my jars. Hold on. Okay, here's something. Here's something. Check this out. Oh, look how cute he is. So basically, I just got these just to sit around. These are like the same concept as those monkeys that they have, like usually year-round. But these are, you know, they have the Velcro like that. I mean, what wouldn't it be cute to just even hang this up from your rear view mirror? Like, I mean, what do you think, guys? How would he look hanging up there? Like, that would be me being Christmassy in my Jeep, right? I just think that would be the most adorable thing ever. Um, look at his eyes. I just think he's so cute. But I did, I think I hauled the snowman, maybe, that I already showed you guys. Um, but I just think he's cute. I really think he would look cuter hanging on a rearview mirror than hanging somewhere in the house. I don't know. Unless you have, like, a good place. I just can't think of any place in the house. But I think that he would look cute, like just hanging in the car okay um i think that's all i'm gonna do right now i have a little bit of stuff left in the floor and some in the back i don't want to get ahead of myself i just want to make sure that you know i keep having to i keep getting to bring videos every other day for you guys i know y'all enjoy the um every other day videos so i'm just it's working for us right it's working for us and then on the days that i don't do dollar tree hauls i try to do something something anything so yes anyway um i just want to say thank you guys for watching and if you are not subscribed to my channel please write down here hit that subscribe button please write down here hit that thumbs up that like button leave me a comment i'm sure i ask tons of questions so leave me a comment guys let me know how you like the haul let me know what your favorite thing in the haul was and yeah because you know i like to hear um, anyway, guys, until next time, bye!